Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to No Man's Land. Now, over there, we've got some potatoes that I've been picking up and selling. I did get everything harvested and I've been selling. The reason for that is that I, as much as I want to do a live stream, I'm away for a few weekends and I'm just trying to back all the videos up. I have also reconfigured this trailer. It only cost me 100 euros to double the capacity of it. So that's what I've done. And the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to spend some money. And we'll just, we'll sell this. And then I can tell you what it is I'm planning on buying. It is a tractor. However, it's going to sound like a slightly strange buy. So if I just switch off the engine. Let's come here. In the classified ads at the moment, we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got a Fiat, which is basically the same as what we have. A big old Vario that uh, we just can't afford. We have this guy. I would love to be able to get that, but we're not. I don't think we're going to make the money. So we're either going to get this, if we can make enough, or we're going to be getting this Ursus. Now, this Ursus is a bargain. It is only 71 horsepower and our tractor is 66 but this tractor does have the option of putting on a front hitch it also has a variety of different wheel options none of which are narrow tires unfortunately but it's four wheel drive that's the biggest thing that's going to help us all those times I've been skidding around recently we can fix that quite quickly obviously with this being classified, every hour they disappear. So I am in a bit of a race against time. I want to see how much we can get. I would really love to get that case. I've had quite a few cases in my series before. And yeah, that's, that's a big upgrade. That's double the horsepower of what we have now. And it will give us a massive boost to our productivity. However, a four-wheel drive tractor would as well, especially as it only costs 6,800. I mean, that is a bargain as far as I'm concerned. 6,800 is an insane price. So we just need to see exactly how much we can get. Oh, and one other thing, I found this after I finished the episode. Look at this. Whoop. I can tip the whole head. I didn't know that. The whole head, the whole bucket. I can tip it. I literally did not know that. I found it out after I finished when I was doing some more selling. And you may also notice that I'm no longer using the mouse and keyboard for operating front loader tools. Yes, I did reconfigure everything to be on my joystick. Which is, it feels a little unnatural, because usually when I use the joystick, I'm doing flight sim. And when I'm doing flight sim, I'm not using the wheel. However, it is working. It just, I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. So, it is quite handy having everything in one place, I must say. In terms of the uh, all the buttons, are all in the exact same spot. I don't want to pick up five lines. Four is enough, I think. I think this will fill the trailer. I don't think there's going to be much left after, um, but we'll see. So. Rather than you watching me going back and forth picking this up, and rather than doing this as a time lapse, because I actually have a different thing planned for a time lapse today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more picked up, and I shall see you in a moment where we can find out if we've got enough money to buy the case. Okay, I have now collected the last bits, and I have worked out that. With our balance right now, 
the resale value of the tractor, the Fiat, and the cost of the tractor that we want to buy, which is the case, if we can get enough money, we're currently 752 euros short. It's like nothing. So, we're going to see how much we make here. And the answer is... 601! Ugh! Okay. There's now a bit of a gambling game then. Because... <laughs> when it hits 9 o'clock... When it hits 9 o'clock... <laughs> there... Will be... A refresh of the classified ads. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to save very quickly. And let's just get ourselves to nine o'clock. There we go. So we now have the money we need. Let's check. So the Ursus is still there. <gasps> and the case is still there. Right. That's it then. So. Let's disconnect this guy. Okay. So, we sell him. No, hang on. It's 33015. Let's just double check this. We need 4114 to be able to afford that tractor. Okay. Yeah, we can do it then. So we sell that guy. And then from the classified ads, we buy ourselves a beautiful new case. There we go. So we are now upgrading from a 66 horsepower tractor to a 33. 132 horsepower tractor. That is going to make life so much easier. This is such a good day. Such a good day. And of course, once we get more money, we can reconfigure this guy if we need to, to do various different things. I believe we can even get a front hitch on him. That'll make things a bit better as well, because 132 horsepower, we can actually run a tool on the front and the back, depending on the horsepower requirement, of course. Refueling done, and our bank balance is now two. Yes, two. You heard me correctly. But I'm not worried, because what we're going to do now, well, we'll take this trailer back with us, that's one thing we can do. We are going to... Ooh. So I just I just remembered that I used this on Chawa and it doesn't have the best turning circle. But yes, we are now going to cut the grass. The grass is ready, it's a third stage harvest, which means it's the biggest yield you can get from a grass field. Um, <clears throat> because each harvest stage does actually produce more grass. Which uh I think a lot of people don't realise that. So, we've obviously we've got the same tools. We don't have anything new. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Because this guy is going to be able to run those tools oh, so much easier. And I've just realised that uh, I should kind of, kind of, save the game. So, let me quickly save the game. There we go. Now we can go and start mowing the grass. Yes, yes, yes. Now mowing the grass is another job that I'm going to do as a bit of a jump cut because the collecting of the grass is the most interesting and collecting of the grass is going to be done with our brand new slash old loading wagon. That's going to be the more interesting section, I think. So. 
Let's uh, check that real mower is turned off. It is. Turn it on, drop them down. Off we go. So, we can only do 11 kilometers an hour. Is that because the tractor needs repairing or is that because the speed of the tool? I don't remember. The tool it can do 12. Okay, so it's a mix of the tractor and the tool. Oh no, the tractor's at 0%. It's perfect. It's the mower. The mower needs a repair. Okay, well, we don't have enough money to pay for a repair right now. So what I'll do is I will whiz round the field like usual. I will get it all cut up, and then we can, uh, yeah, then we can move on to collecting it. The field is mowed, and this guy has made the job much easier. Admittedly, we weren't struggling with the mower, but I think this is where he's going to come into his own. Because now we need him to power this machine while at the same time collecting. Uh, yeah, power the machine at the same time actually pulling it. That's what I meant. This loading wagon doesn't have the greatest width, but it was a bargain, so we can't really complain. We can probably sell it for more than we bought it for. So we're going to get it all picked up. And we're going to put it into silage. And then we're going to compact it. And this is going to be how we recover the money that we just spent on this tractor. I know that I keep spending the money rather than buying a field. If we had saved all the money that we've spent so far, probably would have been pretty close to actually being able to buy the field. But at the same time, this tractor means we can get some bigger tools. If we find bigger tools that are cheap, we can get them. That speeds up the work on the field, which means we can technically work more area the same amount of time with as we were doing with the Fiat. And that means we can make more money. It's kind of a long-term investment, but the next big purchase really does have to be the field because there are some placeables that I really want to buy and I can't put down a permanent placeable if we don't own the field that's just silly we'd have to you know destroy the thing because we're, we're talking realistically here if I put down a concrete building I'd have to smash it back up again to be able to actually give the field back to the owner it just doesn't seem realistic, does it? So, I need to own the field so that I can do that. Now, this is why it's a little bit quicker. Wow, that emptied out really quickly. Uh, so we can only do 8,000 litres in a load, but 8,000 isn't bad. And I do think this is going to be a quicker job. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to time lapse, and uh, we will see how long it takes to get this all done. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I could feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right, and make up for what I. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it 
future. I wanna get high on caught by surprise by you. Want you to make. The trailer is almost full, and there is such a tiny, tiny section left to do. I'm pulling the lights on, not because I really need them, just because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help me to see where I'm going. <sighs> We're not going to be able to fit it in, I'm certain. <laughs> I'm so certain. But, once again, we've done very well. The amount we've got out of the field is a good amount. Oh, look at that. That's what's left. I'm just going to leave that, I'm not wasting time coming all the way back to pick that up. So this guy is not too bad on compaction, but also not too bad on what's hanging out the back, which is always good. I like it when we don't have loads hanging out. It makes it a little bit easier for me to do the compacting. So we'll drop this off, and then I'm going to have to go to town getting that guy compacted. Sometime next episode we'll be able to sell that. And also, next episode, we are going to subsoil the potato field. The reason we're going to subsoil it is because I don't want to plough it. Ploughing takes far too long. Even though we have the bigger tractor, it still just takes far too long. 87,269, that's what we've got. That's pretty good. Yeah, so we're going to subsoil. And we need to find a kind of fertilizer solution because we could have made so much more from that field. We had um, one stage of fertilizer was what was counted. And it's been so long since I played Seasons, I don't even remember. Yeah, okay, there are two stages of fertilizing. So, yeah, we could have, we could have made a lot more. I think it's 15% for each one. And the field needs liming and it needs ploughing. So that's why doing a bit of subsoiling is going to help. It's going to help us make more money 
whatever we do next time, which may be potatoes again. I haven't really decided. It was kind of dependent on what we could get in terms of how we we're progressing in money and machinery. I feel now like we could do a grain crop and we could use that trailed harvester. It will not be the easiest thing to use with one tractor, but we can use it. And if we can use it, that's good because it means we can make more money. Wheat is worth a lot. Per litre, it's worth a lot more than grass and most of the time silage, I think. Let's just double check that. So 937 for, for wheat and we're talking grass silage. 544, wow, that price is plummeting. Yeah, so we stand to make almost double um, for the same amount of uh, product. So I'm kind of tempted as well to turn the grass field into a field because we can always reseed it as grass later on. But we do also have unused land we have land here that we're not using for anything, so I think maybe we could make a third field, which is a grass field, because this one I'd like to subsoil as well. Ideally, I'd like to subsoil every field we have, so if we make a third one, we should subsoil that. And at some point, we will have to look at liming, but for now, we're leaving liming off because we're trying to stick to using no fertilizer and although lime is kind of natural I'm on the fence about whether it would class as natural or unnatural and I want the money from the grant so I'm just not putting any on I think that's the safest thing to do okay so I will continue with the compacting I will also make sure that there's nothing poking out of the ends. And then I'm going to go to sleep until the morning. So thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.